Welcome, Scorpions. This is the Pisces season. So, Scorpions, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Scorpion. Let's go in your reading. The Scorpion season um, is going to be helping some of you, Scorpions, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see a whole lot of help is coming in for you in the Scorpion season. So, this is wonderful. Um, what we're looking at, let's look at the numbers, 7 and 10 is 17 and 16 and 18. We have nine changes, okay? So, um, 6 and 8, um, uh, 17. So, um, it, it is about changes, so. So when we look at this energy, we have to look at the numbers that we're working with, especially in the first week, the seven. It's always about collaboration, okay? The seven of cups is as if uh, multiple opportunities and doors is going to be open for you. People are going to be recognizing your work and how you are um, dealing with things in the correct manner. So... um we do understand what is happening in transparency. So that's eight and um, uh, seven. That is 15 and 10, 25, 25, um, nine. So we have the energy of seven. So you get to recognize what is happening in transparency. And the energy with the seven of cups, the energy with the seven of cups, when we look at the energy with the Seven of Cups, we're looking at Venus in Scorpion. So this is going to be a profoundly good week. So the week of, uh, um, and your sweet steak is going to be the week of the 19 until the 28. That is your sweet steak. And why we call it the sweet steak is a week that a lot of stuff is going to be happening for you guys because that is Venus in Scorpion. And it is about uh, you recognizing uh, um, additional behavior to how you recognize and create things in your world. And this is going to be good, especially for people on the work floor, people who are looking for jobs, people who are alert as what is happening and transpiring, people who wants to make changes in a really profound way, um, is going to be having the help and the assistance in order to create uh, these changes in their world. And this is going to be good. So it is a wonderful alignment of energies. There is no question about this. This is about you recognizing um, how to create your world in a very, very positive way. And this is going to be extremely good because what people have been doing and how people have been um, creating their worlds around them is going to be changing. And this week of the 19 until the 28 is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So, you know, it, it is um, an alignment of energy that you need to use in this week. Recognize where you are, recognize what is happening, understand that there is a whole lot of opportunities that is going to be available for you guys. And you gotta um, use the energies from the 19 until the 28 in order to accumulate and accomplish what it is that you want and take the bull by the horn and become the person that you want to be okay find ways of mean of creating more emotional stability at work and around i love this second energy in the week of the first until the seven and this is a wonderful energy because we have the ten of swords okay and the ten of swords is about uh, a situation where you felt as if you were ruined this is the sun in gemini the sun in Gemini. And the energy of the sun in Gemini is that there was some sort of a unconventional situation that was happening and transpiring. And you're going to be removing these nonchalant things that is transpiring in your world. You're going to be recognizing where things have gone um, array and you're going to be bringing back that in some sort of an order discipline and order in your life okay so it's as if you hit rock bottom and now you're going to be starting to recreate some sort of a positive alignment of energy in order to get you back on your foot and in order to accumulate some sort of a 
um, stability and some sort of awareness of, uh, hey, I was hit off, uh, um, you know, my, my track, but now I'm going to be getting back on my track. And this is going to be good because when we have the sun in Gemini in the reverse, it is, it is like powerful, ladies and gentlemen. It's about you recognize, hey, I got to make changes. I'm going to be taking back my reign. I'm going to be understanding where I am. I'm going to be aware of the situation that is transpiring in my world and take back uh, the reign in order to balance our things and situation that has been happening and transpiring. So this, this is really going to be good. And there's no question about it. It is going to be a week where a lot of you are going to be rebuilding your life in whatever way, rebuilding, break down relationships and communication. Cause this is about really break down, um, relationship and communication. It's about you, um, rebalancing out yourself and recognizing how normal it is for hitting rock bottom, but yet still getting up and recreating your life. Then when we look at the third week, the third week is another sweep state. And why this is another sweep state is that a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a help. Some sort of a help is going to be coming in for a lot of you. And this help is going to be bringing you um, a stability in your world. And however this stability is going to be coming up, it's going to be good because there are going to be people that is going to be helping you to acquire the stability and to help you to move forward in a very positive direction. So this is going to be good. No matter what way you look at it, it is going to be where you're making some sort of a changes professionally in your life and recognizing that, hey, I, I am getting help and I'm going to be taking this help and taking the bull by its horn and making changes in my life, my professional life, and a private life in order to balance out uh, um, my financial stability. So a lot of you could be a response where you're getting extra hours, that sort of a thing, because it's help coming in. So it's about you getting extra hours. It's about you picking up um, what you had lost. So the week of the 8th until the 14th is a fantastic wheel, another sweet steak, and this sweet steak is about someone coming in and helping you and helping you to recognize, hey, um, you were down on the ground, but we're going to be helping you to lift you up and to bring you back in um, the existence of you frequenting by, you know, extra work is coming in, extra things is coming in. You're pushing through all that has happened to you and is regaining some sort of uh, stability by people coming in and helping you, okay? So this is going to be good because some of you are going to be helping people, some of you are going to be getting help. And most of you, especially the young people, are going to be getting help. The older people, it's as if you are there trying to revamp some sort of a situation in order to create a some sort of a positive boundaries in your life and recognizing what it is, where you need to be and how these changes are going to be coming in and balancing you out. As we look at the last week, 15 until the 20th of March, you are going to be making some sort of a decision. You are going to be bringing back some sort of a changes in your life, making some sort of a decision, recognizing that, hey, I have the power within me um, to make the changes, uh, whatever that was happening on the work floor, I can make the changes and I can create a lot of stability in my world and a lot of possibilities that is going to be helping me to revamp my life, uh, my world in order to create financial stability. So, um, you know, as we, we look to these energies, it is really a whole lot of balance that is going to be coming up. And these balances are going to be bringing back the shift of energy that a lot of you had lost because of influence. So the first week, the week of the 19th until the 28th is going to be good for you guys. Um, you know, all these weeks are good because the worst energy, which is the Ten of Swords, um, being in the reverse is saying, hey, Scorpion, um, all that you have gone through, we're going to be repairing this. So all that you have gone through, let's repair this and you're going to be receiving some sort of a help in order 
to repair the imbalances of frequency that was transparent in your financial world. Because this is the energy of how you're going to be revamping your financial stability by, you know, getting new hours, uh, um, help coming in, people are opening up new doors for you, changes is coming in. So look at this uh, um, Pisces season as, hey, um, people are, uh, you know, coming in to help me and to give me a hand to move forward and take it, take the bull by the horn, take the bull by the horn, recognize what is happening, recognize what is transpiring, recognize that you have the power in order to change whatever is happening around you and use this because you need to be aware of the, in, the instability that was transpiring in your world. So if you were someone that was in and out of work and sometimes, you know, someone is going to say, hey, um, look at what it is that you're good at. Uh, try and create for yourself. Uh, and you're going to be recognizing that this is going to be helping you to push you forward in a very positive way. So we have um, the, the energy of the six of uh, um, pentacles. It's, it, it is about you um, regaining some sort of a, a financial stability. Okay, It is the moon in Taurus. Six of pentacles is the moon in Taurus. And the moon in Taurus is about help coming in. And if you notice, it's reversed, so you're not giving it out. It's about help that is going to be coming in in order to revamp and re reorganize a whole lot of structures in your life in order for you um, to move forward. And it's about um, help on the work floor. It's about people helping you to get back on track, okay? It's about people really helping you to get back on track and understand where you are, what you're doing, how you co-create with other people, but in a very positive way. So um, expect a lot of help coming in the third week. There is going to be so much help that is coming in the 8th of March until the 14th of March. So much help is going to be coming in. And this help is going to be exhilarating you in order to give you a uh, long-term stability in your world because people recognize, hey, I got the power to do this and I am really going to be um, really expressing myself and really doing what it is that I do best, all right? Changes, changes is here and uh, um, um, the two of pentacles is going to be bringing in a, a lot of changes, okay? And when... The, the two of pentacles comes in. We're talking about Jupiter in Capricorn. Jupiter in Capricorn. And a lot of people think that uh, it's all about making decisions, juggling things. But no, it's about some sort of a luck. Some sort of a lucky break that is going to be coming in for you. And you're going to be using um, the help that is coming in. Because when Jupiter is in Capricorn, this is good. Because Jupiter is bringing you luck. Okay, so expect the luck. And this is why I say to a lot of people, it is good to understand the energies of these numbers of these uh, um, Tauric energies because it has so much information. One card is given so much information where no one would expect Jupiter in Capricorn at this time. But yet still, we are recognizing that some sort of unexpected luck is going to be coming in. And this is going to be good. Business people, your sweet steak is going to be in the week of March 8th until March 14th. That's when you business people are going to be recognizing and receiving some sort of a help in order to recreate your world. So when we look at these energies, we have emotion in the first week, the second week, communication, you're going to be successful overcoming some sort of a bad communication that was out there about you. And I see help is going to be coming in um, with the um, a manager. So uh, is this if uh, um, in the third week, a manager is going to be stepping in or a corporation institution is going to be stepping in and is going to be helping you to recreate uh, some sort of a situation that is going to be helping people in order to let people recognize uh, um, a lot of things that they weren't aware of. Okay. Then we're looking at balance and this balance is good because it's Jupiter coming in. When Jupiter is in um, your um, earth sign, because Jupiter is in your earth sign and we place this uh, energy um, um, at uh, 
the house of the reputation, the house of the reputation. And we're recognizing, hey, um, with this house of reputation, we're recognizing there is changes that is coming up and we need to alert ourselves and take the bull by its own and represent ourselves in the correct way. And as we do that, we're going to be recognizing how the universe is going to be um, swinging us out in a very, very positive way that is granting us wishes that we had forgotten that we had wish and manifest. So I really, really do love this. I really understand um, this uh, situation where, you know, you're being balanced out, especially from the 8th until the 20th. You are being balanced out because it's as if the universe is saying, hey, Scorpion, you have gone through so much, but yet still we're coming back and balance you out in a very, very positive way because we're going to be exhilarating you in such a powerful way that is going to be pushing you and giving you a lot of help, a lot of um, support is going to be coming in. Issue, situation is going to be removed out of your life and you're going to be resolving these problems, these issues and situation in a very, very positive note. So ladies and gentlemen, I do love you. Remember to show your love by thumbs up. Follow us to the other side where you can pick one of these crystal. Um, you need to pick one of these crystal in order to manifest what it is that you're looking for in order to push yourself in a new direction moving forward. I am going to say to you guys, use the energy of 19 to 28. Those are your sweet dates. Second sweet dates is really eight, um, the 8th of March until the, the until the 20th, okay? Because what we have here, especially your boss, people in power is going to be helping you and, and, and letting you know, um, hey, we are backing you. Whatever you're doing, we're going to be backing you. And they're going to be helping you in order to push you and exhilarate you. So this is going to be good. The changes that is coming in is positive changes. It's about the universe is saying, hey, you have been open wishing. And now finally, we are going to be giving you what it is that you want, the job you want, the position you want, the business you want, the clients you want to come in. And now people are going to be really um, stepping back and really taking on that energy. I do love you guys. Follow us to the other side. Then you can choose one of your symbols. I got to go. But it's a really, really positive um, Pisces season for you guys. Namaste.